comes to us from Dat Park Place. Shout out to Marvel's Wolverine Associate Narrative Director, Mary Kenny, says every lever must be pulled to push disordered LGBTQ agenda. That's fucking insane, dude. Mm -hmm. That's fucking insane. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, man. Associate Narrative Director at Insomniac Games who's working on an upcoming Marvel's Wolverine game, Mary Kenny, declared that every lever must be pulled in order to push a disordered LGBTQ plus agenda. Speaking with dual shockers about the recent GLAD report bemoaning a lack of the LGBTQ plus characters in video games, Kenny described the report as heartbreaking. God, geez, these fucking people, man. She also stated oh. that the GLAD report tells us something key. Games are way are I say, games are a way for LGBTQ people to socialize. But it also tells us something heartbreaking that LGBTQ gamers don't feel that developers are thinking of them when they design games. Oh my God. She added, well, I'm assuming it's sure. And to her, uh, there are so many LGBTQ developers. We want what uh, we want what players want to design experiences that tell the players we're here. We are important and we belong. In order to obtain this, she declared, we need to pull every lever we have, characters, community support, mechanics, to make it so. I, I, need, I need a second to, to freaking think about this. Gray, how do you feel right now? Yeah, it's like, if it's, if it's not appropriate for the overall story, then they shouldn't be included. So why why do you have to insert yourself in everything, man? Why do you have to be everywhere or at, at, your presence is there every time? Are you that really insecure about it that you have to insert yourself in every aspect of every form of form of medium to get validation? Like, how needy do you have to be emotionally to come to that point in life? It's like. That's not the only thing that matters, or that's not the way to get approval. If that's what you're looking for. It's like stepping on people's toes just to get approval. That's not a way to. That's you. You you won't get the satisfaction you get, even if you force every every ounce of the story to be LGBTQ related. Like you're still mm -hmm. gonna get backlash. People will hate you even more, and you're just gonna keep doubling down and doubling down. You're, you're gonna keep go deeper into that rabbit hole. Until it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Yep. Oh man. It's here's the thing. Um, as a person who works in the games industry, we do my company does cater to the LGBTQ stuff, right? As but the thing is that we try to bank off of it during Pride Month, right? But uh, didn't we go over there was like 50 billion like holidays for like people part of the, the the you know the trans community or LGBTQ community? There's like a billion holidays for them, which is insane, right? Well, let's continue. See, this is the opposite of what video game developers should be doing. Instead of attempting to normalize and lead people to objectively disordered lifestyles, they should be promoting the common good. The common good is defined in the is it is it cate catechism? Cat catechism of the catholic Catechism. church uh and some total of the social conditions which allow people either as groups or individuals to reach their fulfillment more fully and more easily furthermore pope john paul ii detailed that the common good is simply the sum of total of particular interests rather it involves an assessment and integration of those interests uh on the basis of balanced hierarchy of values ultimately it demands a correct understanding of dignity and the rights of the person. Christopher, uh, is it Kaczor at Catholic.com explains the common good, in other words, is not simply what people happen to want, but what would be authentically good for people, the social conditions that enable human flourishing. Now, um, I'm not I'm not religious, but that statement can go, you can read that statement in any type of context and it's, it, it makes a lot of sense. It's because 
if you want the human, you know, the human species to flourish, the, hu the human race to, to flourish, you don't chop off your dick. You don't chop off your tits. You don't mutilate yourself to make a fake penis and you don't make a bonus hole. It's because if so, you are removing yourself from the gene pool and, you know, it is what it is. Then you're, if you're going to be gone from the gene pool, then you are, and then your, your entire ancestry dies with you. Right. And as a person who I'm not religious and, um, but I think, I think the statement is true, you know, like, don't you want, you know, like, you know, your offsprings to do some cool shit. Don't you want to like have a legacy? It's like, oh, my legacy is that, you know, I have a bonus hoe. Bonus hoe is my legacy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what do, what do you think about what do you, what do you think about this so far man yeah it's like yeah I'm not a religious person either but in terms of this aspect that's going way way too far yeah the church is definitely right in this one it's like yeah uh, just the people who think that they need to do stuff like that they are they need mental help they don't need surgery for whatever it is as you said additional stuff or the reduction of the mutilation of their bodies that that's something that needs to be treated with mental therapy not with you know make giving them more problems or more ways for these doctors to profit off of them which is yep. disgusting to say the least yeah man all right let's continue so promoting lgbtq agenda in video games is against the common good the uh uh, from the Catholic Church states that basing itself on the sacred scripture, which presents homosexual uh, sorry, homosexual acts as acts of grave depravity, tradition has always declared that homosexual acts are intrinsically disordered. Uh, they are contrary to the natural law. Uh, sorry, they are contrary to the natural law. They close the sexual act to the uh, gift of life. They do not proceed from a genuine, effective, and sexual complementarity. Uh, under no circumstances can they be approved. Now, here's um, here's the thing. Um, I don't care who you date. I don't care, you know, if you're having sex with another guy or a girl's having sex with another girl or you're having sex with like some kind of weird shit, right? Uh, as long as it's legal, cons two consenting adults doing legal stuff, I don't care. Do what the fuck you want in the privacy of your own home. Don't force that shit onto me publicly. I do not want to see you guys having sex in the middle of the street during pride uh pride parades in west hollywood i don't want to see that uh i don't i don't want the shit to be shown to kids i don't, just keep that private shit to your to yourself I, I don't fucking care what you do right but the thing is now it's getting into our escapism like we we've been talking about this shit constantly how escapism we we, we you know we, we we play hell divers to get away from bullshit right we, we we play you know stellar blade to get rid from bullshit but then let's say if you're Playing a game that has woke propaganda in it, it I don't care how great the game is, it's sort of in that moment, it will sort of bring you out of your escapism. You're like, ah, oh, uh, okay, whatever. You know, like when when you're playing Hades 2, mm -hmm. right? And um, and they change uh who who's that fat fire god? I, I forgot, but I did encounter him already. The one in the wheelchair. I I forgot. Oh, he, he, so that one. That one is uh, Hephaestus, but there's a, there's also a fat fire goddess. Yeah, yeah, there is one. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah like I, I I think uh, Hestia, I think that's her name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. The thing is that like it's like I'm playing the game. This game is fun. Uh, you know, um, Melanoe has more like abilities and stuff like she can do cool shit that uh, Zagreus couldn't do. And then I'm like, okay, Hestia, and they're like, oh. Woke shit. Oh, woke shit. The game is still really, really good, but you notice the woke shit right away. Like I said before, woke shit does not ruin a good game. But if your game sucks and it has woke shit in it, it's going to get even worse. So, but yeah, man. Um, that's crazy, dude. Like, it's like the fact that, like, it's like, I, I know that the park place is like, um, it's, it's based off of like, um, a lot of, uh, like, people who work here are lawyers and stuff like that and this is based off of like religion and stuff but like for me as a person who is not really religious like i like what they're saying is not wrong yeah. right 
But yeah, let's see. Um, it's no surprise that Kenny would want to promote these disordered lifestyles that under no circumstances can be approved given he attempted to gaslight readers while defending Sweet Baby Inc. In back in March. Oh, shit, she did. In a 12-post thread, wow, uh, on X, Kenny attempted to justify and defend Sweet Baby Inc.'s pushing of woke ideology in video games. He wrote, Some of you don't seem to understand how narrative consulting on games work, but don't worry, I do. Yes, this is about Sweet Baby because I've worked with that team and they're one of the finest in the business. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Wokeness is killing uh, is killing gaming. Here we go. I have avoided the conversation about Sweet Baby Inc. for so long, but now it's getting out of hand. Basically, when a game is being made, some people will hire them to help a writing dialogue or character design of a certain types of characters. Spoiler alert, it's usually involves stories and characters that isn't the default. He continued, now anti-woke people call it one of this and they flock to it like flies on the turd. They'll tell you that they're the reason uh, Kill the Justice League and Arkham Knight are bad games. They'll say that the reason why Spider-Man is dating a deaf... <laughs> why Spider-Man dating a... You mean Miles Morales. Why is Miles Morales dating a deaf woman? Why is, why, is, no... why is Arkham Knight a bad game? I don't think Arkham Knight is a bad game because it's woke. It's just a bad game because it's just not as good compared to Arkham, Arkham City, City and Arkham City. Asylum. Okay, but it's it's not. I wouldn't say it's a terrible game with based on my experience with. But anyway, I, I digress. Yeah, why Joe's lost in golf? Uh, why they can't edge to their favorite characters? It all sounds ridiculous because from the bottom of my heart, it is. But they won't mention that they worked on games like God of War Ragnarok. God of War Ragnarok has woke shit in it. I beat the game. It has woke shit in it. Is the game good? Yeah, but it took me out for a moment. I'm like, I I don't think. Frost Giants are black. I'm just saying it, right? It's, uh, you know, Alan Wake. Oh, Alan Wake 2 is woke. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, they won't tell you precisely what they worked on, what pieces of dialogue yeah. they did, or what. Yeah, that game hasn't yeah. even, Alan Wake 2 hasn't even broke even, I imagine, up to now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, uh, you know, uh, they add to what, uh, game and how because they don't know it's not public knowledge some of the clowns are even going as far as to say that the reason for the layoffs which makes no sense okay here the reason um i guess this person doesn't know how math works gray as a as a fellow asian do you know what the transitive property is okay you're gonna have to <laughs> remind me but okay yeah. uh i i do i do but I I forgot already. <laughs> okay, so transitive property is that if x if x equals y, and uh, you know, and basically, uh, and y equals this, I mean x equals this, right? Because it's sort of like, um, like in, in putting it in, into simple terms, uh, if I own something by the transitive property, I'm married to my wife; she owns it too. Okay. Simple, right? Very simple. Okay. For this one, transitive property has for, for this one has to go through twice. I'm bringing math into this chat. Here we go. Here we go. So, how how does this not make sense for layoffs? The game does bad. Is because people don't buy it because it's woke. Right. That means that the company does not get revenue, does not get money for it. Is because it's not selling because it's woke. Then means by the transitive property, the reason why for layoffs is because they didn't make enough money. That's the transitive property. Is that's fucking simple, mm -hmm. right? So this, this, like, I just fucking destroyed your whole worldview just by just just by just by you know being my Asian self. If you're still con if you're still confused as to why something like this would still exist, let me break it down to you. Let's say I'm a young black gamer who lives in Los Angeles. So I start a service and, and to say, yo, if you come up with a character or a story that involves a young black gamer who lives in Los Angeles, you should talk to me about it because I kind of know what that's like. So someone's creating a movie and they say, yo, we have this character who is a young black gamer who lives in Los Angeles and we like to, uh, he would wear something like this in the winter. I can look, uh, then look at the character and say, hmm, add a little bit more drip. Oh my, I fucking hate that word. Uh, here and add some drip there. Even though it's winter, we don't need puff jackets. We're chilling, he said. They say, all right. Um, 
So basically, they're like, all right, Gray, we're going to add this super, super gay character into this game. Super gay, you don't even know they're gay. But the thing is, when you look at it, you're like, oh my God, that person is gay. So they will reach out to a very, very gay person and be like, hey, what do you think about this gay person? And that gay person is like fucking, um, what's it called again? Like, I don't know, Mr. Slave from South Park, right? And he's like, oh my God, Jesus Christ. Um, uh, He should be wearing a jock strap on his fez. And uh, he should probably wear like, like a ball gag the entire time. So that's the type of shit that we're calling out is because like, if that's the stuff that you got, like you're going to the most gayest fanboying care like person in the world and ask about, hey, what do you think about gay people? And we're because we're putting gay people in our games. It's basically that. And it, they don't see how this, oh my God, I'm, I'm losing brain. I'm losing all of my brain cells just reading this shit. But, uh, but man, uh, and you see, As, even Asmund Gold talked about it too. But, uh, ha, ha, oh my gosh, she, yeah, she literally, she wrote a, a fucking, a thesis, a college graduate thesis capstone on how, you know, like how, why wokeness in video games is good. I, I, I'm done reading this. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm getting upset. How do you feel, man? Yeah. How do you feel about, uh, uh, you, know, uh, you know, they have to pull every lever to make things super gay, super queer. How do you feel? Yeah, uh, I say go ahead. That's content for us and you lose your job. <laughs> it's really that simple. Because like sooner or later, the Larry Fink money is going to run out. Because Larry Fink, as we speak, is getting backlash for the ESG. So we just need to keep pushing more. Yeah, I, I know mm. some of the comments in the videos like, but Larry Fink is just one dude. Y yeah, I know, but he's still one dude that we, we can bring. If we can bring down one dude, then we can bring down the rest. <laughs> That's how I feel. So yeah, get, get him the fuck out of there. Yeah. So oh, sooner or later, BlackRock is going to backpedal on, the, on those ESG funding. No more forced behaviors. So when that comes in, the finance people are going to come in. Wait, this doesn't make financial sense. We're not making money. So we're going to have to uh, cut back on this, close the devs if we have to. They're going to pull a Microsoft. It's like, I probably, what happened with Microsoft? Okay, I'm kind of veering off, but it's kind of related. It's like, I'm pretty sure what's happening on Xbox right now. It's a clash between what Phil Spencer what Phil Spencer wants and what the executives that what the executives of what Microsoft wants. The, the people in Microsoft they want it to be profitable already, but for Phil it's like it's a, such a long, long, long term vision before it can materialize that the people in Microsoft are saying no that that's a that's a bit too much. We we're gonna have to cut back. We have to make money like very very soon. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.